Hi. Hi. Here we are. <laughs> Molly, I made so it. <laughs> I'm so busy. So busy. <laughs> I'll tell you. So, so busy. No, my mom is here. So we went and had dinner. I'm at this great pizza place in Brooklyn. And I actually was able to find a vegan organic wine. It was it was really light. So I oh, wouldn't say it was on the menu? Yeah, but it was really light. Like very light. Like it doesn't sound like you liked it. <laughs> we drank it. <laughs> but we didn't necessarily love it. But it was organic and and um well, and vegan. Oh, no, so you know it. it was okay. Yeah, it got better. It got better, but we are pouring a glass. Oh, I, did I say I'm Molly? I'm Collie. And that's Donna. There you go. Can you see me? No, we still don't know how to do it either. Okay. None of us do. Well, important to do the bottle. <laughs> right? We're pouring a glass of the Bookbinder Apprentice. Yes. And so this and is I am happy I to be it. able to be a part of this festivity. I know. Welcome. We have two <laughs> this week with three people. And Abby. Abby is so excited. Her Grammy is here. Oh my God, it's like nobody's business. She's about to blow up. So yeah, the bookbinder apprentice I've had, you've not had. Your no, friends Abby. You had it in Maine, right? <laughs> well, oh, she hasn't had it either. Yeah, we're all the gang's all here. The gang's all here. Um, we did have it in Maine, I believe. It's I think it's fantastic. Some um, people say it needs to open up. I did not. We did not necessarily experience that. We thought it was a okay. Don't be sniffing. Well, Abby is right on top of me. Where you know. We're all on my new couch. That was free. Thank the Lord. Free is good. Free is good. So anyway, this I love. I love the bookbinder, the pricier version yes. for sure. But do we tell people out there in the wine crew land um, what this can, bottle costs? How come we can't hear anybody? The, so the regular bookbinder is $58. And oh. the little, the apprentice version is a little. <laughs> Sixteen dollars. I mean, sixteen. This bottle of wine is sixteen dollars. It's my mom can't hear you. Here, put it in an earbud. Yeah. So, for those of you, other ear, other ear. So, for those of you who have always been like, "Well, it's too much. Your wine is too expensive for me on a regular Tuesday night." Now there is a wine for you. Well, from my point of view, um, sixteen dollars. Hello. I mean, you can go to Starbucks and get a coffee and a sandwich that sat there for days. And that's right. $16. And that's $16. This actually is so, um, let me taste it again. But then you might have to get off screen. <laughs> oh my God. It is absolutely delicious. I it, mean, it is. I, mean, I will tell you, I, so this was the first time I, I opened it at, at about an hour ago and I tasted okay. it immediately and didn't love it. And I, okay. we've had mixed reviews, right? About this wine. Right. right. And so I just, I just took a sip and then I let it sit. And then I tried it again, probably 20 minutes ago. And it's so much better. It really does. Yeah, need some people does feel like it needs to open for sure. Um, when you did know, you open it, Molly? Five seconds ago. <laughs> well, I don't then obviously I'm finding it very delightful. Well, it's definitely time. better than the wine that we had with dinner. The wine we had with dinner, like I said, was, was good. It was very light. As we've already said, it yeah. was very, very light. This, this this has a little more, it has a lot of body. It has like a little more oomph to it, a little more, it's more interesting and has more character to it. I don't, I can't. And it's like, why would I just drink a glass of this wine? I when mean, I could drink the bottle. Yeah, when I could drink the bottle. <laughs> I mean, come on, let's be real. Oh, well, for $16? Who the hell buys a bottle of wine for $16? You can buy a glass of wine at some restaurants in Manhattan for $16. No, I've had glasses of wine for more than $16, and they've been atrocious. Right. So you get a whole entire bottle. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. You get a whole bottle. And I love the... Here, hold this for a second. Well, I like the... the I, I love the label. I like the label. I'm a label person. You know, yeah. the bookbinder, the print. Yeah. I think it's cute. 
you know, it's bright, it's fun. If anybody yeah. has to go to the library. To, to be honest, everyone's a lazy person most of the time. Well, that's what draws your attention. Right. I mean, you know, right. to something. It's like, that's why you have those end caps at the stores. That's why you have all that crap in the checkout aisle when we used to go into grocery stores to shop back in the good old days. <laughs> You know, because yeah. it's it's point of purchase. You what catches your eye is what you are drawn to. Well, the yeah. label that you got today at the pizza place. Yeah, the label we did have today was was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was really really pretty. You know, for on yeah. the wine. That's but why that's I what you, rainbow cereal is all colorful and draws the kids. In and right. They throw a temper tantrum when you won't buy them Fruit Loops. Correct. It's that's that are all roping you in. But yeah, I mean, I think it's it's from California, right? And it's 13.5% alcohol by volume. Yep, it's a blend. Petite Syrah, Zinfandel, Cab, Syrah, I don't think we need to open it in that way. and also Barbera. So oh. A lot of different grapes. Which is nice, it's four, it's four different grapes. Um, so sometimes it's nice when you're doing a blend because having the, why don't we pee? Having the different blends, I mean, the different grapes can help give a wine more character and make it more interesting. And what is she looking for? Better snacks under there and tasty, but it's on a, you know, it's a little, this is on the lower end of the price point. You know what I'm saying? So you're right. using more than one grape varietal, which can help keep the cost down a little bit. Abby's looking for her snack. I shot her a, I shot her a snack from the Furbo and she, she hasn't been trained. Anyway, I know I'm all over the map, but yeah, I love this wine. I liked it right out of the gate, but I also, we were eating with it. Yeah. Right out of the gate. And we just opened it. I'll get it for her. Abby, it's okay, sweet pea. Um, we've already eaten. We had pizza and a fantastic arugula yeah, salad with salad artichoke and um, lemon, dressing. lemon dressing. And so we've already eaten. So we kind of have that, you know, still going. I, the, the so taste, I, taste I feel like the wine is it's full body good. And it's pleasant. It's pleasant after an evening. It's not like, oh, I can't have I don't know if you can hear her. She's just, yeah. okay. She's just talking. It's pleasant. She she thinks it's great. It's full bodied. Um, you know, like but I said, we have eaten, but we yeah. did, we did have it right away in Maine, but we were also eating with it. So, you know, like you said, for you, you needed to, to let it open up. But that's the beauty. You pour it in a glass. You let it. You know. You pour it. You're making dinner. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't with it. Um, but it's it's definitely got um, more complex flavor than you'd expect from a sixteen dollar bottle of wine. Like it's fru fruity and gold, and uh, it's super low in residual sugar. It's only point one. Oh my god! Is it? Yeah down the hatch yeah and it's real it's real dark fruit like blackberry where you think? i just can't believe it's 16 dollars. i mean quite honestly i mean well, like we were saying about the label it's honestly label and price is what people pick really absolutely people yeah do pick um that's why there's a market right that's why trader joe's has a market for three dollar wine yeah. Because people care about price. Yeah, definitely darker fruit. But I don't have the tasting notes in front of me, so I don't really know. I can look it up. The only place that oh, yeah. I have Black, blackberry, plum, herbs. This is good with barbecue. Again, anything with uh, from the grill. <laughs> we I feel like we say that all the time. Right, from the grill. I bet it would be good. I mean, like if you're a vegetarian, I'm sure I can't stand those things. What are those portobello mushrooms that people grill up? I bet that would be good with it if you like portobello mushrooms. To be honest, anything tastes better on the grill. I mean, I don't I don't eat a ton of meat, but um, whatever we make in the summer, not even just the summer, because we use it now year round, but everything tastes better from the grill. I'm not really a griller. Well, you live in an apartment. 
It's I could have a hibachi, right? Or is that like a fire hazard? I don't think so. I mean, I don't want one. Just curious. <laughs> asking. I was asking for a friend. <laughs> You're just taking a poll. Taking a poll. Who wants a hibachi in their apartment? No, it's danger. I could just see Abby running into it, and all of a sudden the building's on fire. <laughs> Not a good plan. <laughs> Plus, I'm not the griller. I'm not That's the griller. actually something that I would envision while your mom was visiting and you two were making dinner. <laughs> well, yes, Collie, that could happen too. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> but we'd be laughing while it was happening. We'd be having a good time for sure. Always. For, the most for important sure. thing. Yes. And that's what wine is all about. Yeah. It's you know, having a good time, sharing a glass with loved ones, um, you know, new friends, old friends, family, family you don't like. <laughs> it makes family you don't like all that much better. <laughs> it sure does. Right? <laughs> but yeah, now I think if you're looking for a full body uh, red wine and you're looking to try a clean crafted wine, you cannot beat it. You can't, I mean, you cannot beat $16. I mean, that to me is like it's crazy town that it's clean crafted. It's, you know, vegan. It's, there's no added stuff and it's $16. Yeah. Like not like 16 American dollars. Not yeah. This is, this is only the second time I've seen a $16. We have a $17 rosé. Which is fantastic. Yeah. I think when I first, first started, there was a $16 one, but I haven't seen one since. Yeah, but we're trying to, you know, have more of that price range to kind of meet the needs of a broader spectrum of people. Because, you know, I have definitely my... My look, I mean, I'm not drinking, you know, the Bernhardt every night, but I actually have had it on a Tuesday randomly. I mean, you know, life is short. We could all be dead tomorrow. But my look at price point on a bottle of wine has definitely changed since, Absolutely. since joining Scout and Cellar. And when you introduced me to the wine and it's, I don't like have sticker shock so much anymore because it's like you know you go to i don't go to whole foods but people do go to whole foods and you spend a bazillion dollars on an organic apple or whatever it is it's like then you want to drink if you're going to have a glass of wine you're going to drink a glass of wine that's full of all this hideous stuff because it's right. five dollars five dollars cheaper it doesn't make right. sense to me. You know, I mean, I do bar all the time now. I mean, I'm trying to, you know, in the old quarantine, um, you know, make some better choices. I don't always eat great. I'm a big fan of toast as a meal, but um, <laughs> with French butter, yeah. of course. Yeah, I've worked with her. This is true. I love toast. Oh, I, love always toast. Has it. I mean, it's like a comfort meal for me, toast. But you know, it's like I'm trying to make better choices. And if I'm doing bar twice a day or walking or trying to eat, you know, more avocados or whatever, why am I going to drink a bottle of wine that has all the stuff in it? Because it's five dollars cheaper. Right. But we it know that's why we're like, uh, I think, who is it? Oprah. That's like when you know better, you do better. Like, that's the whole point. Of Ideally, us like people yeah. don't know. Like we had no idea. Right. Because you can't read the label. Well, there is no label. Right. I mean, the, you know, the way you read a food label. That's what I'm saying. There is no label. Yeah. So you can't read it because it's not there. But yeah, ideally, when you know better, you do better. Because once you know, and that's a big thing, and like all, you can apply that to all aspects of life. Um, once you know better and you aren't doing better, like then you're part of the problem. Right. You know, so... We are not part of the bad wine problem. No, not at all. And I will pour myself some more to, and cheers to that because you can make your opinions known with your almighty dollar, right? Of how you, oh, <laughs> <laughs> a bomber again. <laughs> and her little shadow, her little shadow, Abby. Is, I wish, I wish sometimes, um, 
like I know, Kala, you know Abby and not everybody knows Abby and stuff. I wish they could see like the funny side of her because she's definitely special needs and that she doesn't really like anybody. But oh my God, she could be so cute. When she loves you, she loves you. When she you. loves you, she loves you. Yeah. She's in it to win it. That was a How's Billy. How's Billy? Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. Ab Abby, if you hadn't been here, um, Billy would be here. He is he's living the life, I'll tell you that. I know. That is what I'm told. Sweet Billy. Yeah. All right. Well, we're digressing. We're just rambling on like we're just having our own happy hour. <laughs> yeah. But if any of you have questions about any of the wines, but definitely this one, this is like a great, I don't want to say gate, or gateway, gateway <laughs> wine. A yeah. And there's you, it's a twist off because it's we wonderful. don't, you know, cork is actually, um, at a premium, it's, we don't have a lot of it in the world, and it's not it's not necessary for wines, you know. So there are so screw top wines aren't a bad thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is a great place to start for clean yeah. crafted wine. Even our wine today. And we have so many more coming. I'm so excited about other wines we're going to taste in the next few weeks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not where you two are. <laughs> Good night. We all, we're hot. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>